now you know. Okay, welcome everyone. This is the 23rd day of <coughs> September 2019. So this is welcome to fall, y'all. <laughs> So, first the roll call. Ms. Goldman, please. Yes. Mayor Curley. Here. Mayor Pro Tem Blanks. Here. Alder Person. Barry. Here. Blackwell. Here. Dunn. Here. Noes. Here. Mathis. Here. Seven percent. Okay, the chair takes a quorum, so we will proceed. Thanks everyone for being here. Very pleased that <coughs> Reverend Marty Nutter is with us this evening. Ask that Reverend Nutter step to the podium and uh, offer our invocation. Ask everyone to please stand and remain standing while he leads us in the pledge as well. Thank you, Mayor. Let's bow our heads in prayer. Oh, Lord God, we give thanks to you as we gather this night. We ask that you would guide our decisions, that they would be good decisions and be to your honor and glory. We thank you for the privilege that we have to, to serve you and to serve this great community. We especially thank you, Lord, this night for Colonel Garrity, Colonel and Mrs. Garrity, as they are here with us. We thank you for sending them to us. We ask your blessings upon them in our communities and at AEDC. Uh, bless us, hear our prayers, we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. <coughs> Thank you, Reverend Nutter. <coughs> so you see that we have a new uh, individual joined us this evening. We're very pleased to welcome Miss Menti Regaha. Hopefully I got that sort of close. But she is a wait, wait until you hear some of this um, resume. She's a very, very impressive young lady. And I'm anxious for you to hear from her directly some, some things as well. Um, She's a senior at Kelma High School. Um, she has taken uh, honors geometry, AP English language, composition, AP biology, honors Spanish, honors Spanish. She has participated, she's a member of HOSA, Health Occupation Students of America. She's invite, been invited to attend the Congress of Future Medical Leaders. She is now doing a course by uh, Dr. Amin on the brain. Uh, she's also doing advanced science writing research through two Nobel laureates. She's the pianist for the high school choir. Um, she's an alderman in the Mayor's Youth Council. She participated in the Scholars Bowl last year, the Quiz Bowl. She's a member of the National Honor Society. She's the captain of the debate team. She plays the violin in the University of the South Sym Symphony Orchestra. I've been doing this a long time. I don't know that I've read anybody <laughs> quite as impressive as this one. It just goes on. Uh, she takes piano lessons. She's making a CD of her singing. She plays the piano for different churches. Uh, she works with a group of children at a church near her home. She's a lifeguard. She um, has been to India on a mission trip. So very, very impressive young lady. So Mitty, if you don't mind, tell us a little bit more about yourself. Well, right now, as you heard, I'm working on singing and I'm working with these group of young people and it's really interesting to see how it can change them and the debate team is something that me and like two other students have started this year at our school and so it's getting hard to get it up to the front but it's really been fun and I really enjoy it. Yeah. So what about your college plans? Um, I, I, I'm still looking, I'm applying right now. My top choice would be Brown or Vanderbilt, but I'm also looking at Southern Adventist University, um, hopefully to do a bio major and become a physician like my father. Very nice, very impressive. Yeah. So we're, we're, we're glad you're here. Matthew, if you would stand there at your desk and we have a certificate for you recognizing you as an honorary alderman tonight. <coughs> Thank you for being with us 
So in just a few minutes, I'll, I'll call on you once again for any activities that you'd like to report on at the high school. Okay. So, we're also very pleased uh, to host this evening Colonel Geraghty from the new commander at AEDC. And uh, if I could find him. he has an equally impressive resume, as you can imagine. <laughs> So, uh, he, Colonel Garrity served as an F-15E pilot in Operations Northern Watch, Enduring Freedom, or, and Iraqi Freedom. He's an F-15, F-16 test pilot. He also served as a Secretary of Defense Corporate Fellow at Space Exploration Technologies, SpaceX, in Hawthorne. Prior to assuming the commander position at AEDC, he was the commander of the 645th Aeronautical Systems Group at White Patterson. He's earned a Bachelor of Science in Biology, a Master of Science in Genetics. There's one other thing I wanted to call your attention. He has, if I'm reading this right, 1,750 flight hours and 290 combat hours. Is that correct? Wow. Yes. Uh, he has flown numerous aircraft. There's an old list of them, looks like probably 20 of them, but one that caught my attention, and maybe you can talk about for just a minute, is that um, you've flown the Goodyear blimp. <laughs> so I, I, don't, I don't mean to take away anything else that you've accomplished. Please understand that, sir. But that got my attention. And, and so um, we're very, very pleased to host a reception for you this evening. We all understand that AEDC is the economic engine that makes so many good things happen in Tullahoma, in our region, and we look forward to the outstanding leadership that we've always enjoyed at AEDC and look forward to your continued leadership as well. So we'd love to hear your, your words. You're welcome to step to the podium and, and welcome again. Thank you. Thank you, Mayor Curley. Thank you for the invitation and thank you for hosting me and for hosting Nora. And I want to thank the whole community really for the, the really generous welcome that we've had here in Tullahoma. We moved here in June, so we've only been here a little over three months, but just found out tonight I'm not the new guy anymore because uh, Jonathan here <laughs> moved here in, in July, he tells me. So, so, but I, it, you know, we shared stories that we were receiving the same warm Tullahoma welcome, and we really appreciate it. Um, Nora has had the... Uh, the pleasure of getting to spend a lot more time in the town than I have. Uh, I've been out and about on the road visiting AEDC all over the USA uh, for the past few um, weeks and months. I've been spending a lot of time on the road. I don't know uh, how much you know about how much AEDC has grown in the past few years, but it's kept me on the road an awful lot. And from California to Maryland, we have a number of different sites. Uh, where, uh, where AEDC operates. But right here at Arnold Air Force Base is really where the meat of the mission gets done. And Mayor Curley was hoping I had some, uh, some good news to share about AEDC. I, I, there's no new breaking news or anything to share with you, but I can tell you that what the National Defense Strategy is going to demand out of the folks who work here is tremendous. Uh, with the 2018 National Defend Defense Strategy that uh, Secretary Mattis signed out uh, just before he departed, it really centers on the work that AEDC is expert at. And I think we're going to see uh, if Congress puts their money where the defense strategy demands that it be put, we're going to see a, a tremendous resurgence of, of the mission here at Arnold. And it, it's honestly, it's things that we were excellent at decades ago that are coming back, resurgence of uh, some of the tests and things that were very important in the 90s are, are coming back to fruition with this idea of major power competition that's important in the national defense strategy. Um, but that's, that's just uh, what's going on at work. Um, as you said, AEDC is, a, is an important economic engine. Um, Nora and I are happy to contribute to that as best we can, round about. We love uh, shopping at these uh, local shops that you all have uh, have set up. Um, 
I was talking to the publisher and the editor of the paper. I'm looking forward to signing up for a new subscription here shortly. I love the partnership we have with uh, the first responders in the community as well here. It's an excellent partnership. The, it seems to be pretty seamless for uh, a fairly small Air Force institution embedded within a couple of different counties and the partnerships that we have with first responders to be able to take care of uh, things that may transit those seams seems really seamless and that's something I'm pretty proud of as well and something we'll definitely look to to keep up and uh, and improve on just like we try to improve on anything that we can <clears throat> but I'm sure I'm forgetting some important things uh, to mention in front of this community but I don't want to take up too much time. It's, it's really a pleasure to meet all of you. Thank you for coming out, and thanks again for, for hosting us. Very good. Thank you. So we don't have too many rules, but there were two names called that when your name is called, you have an opportunity to defend yourself. So, Mrs. Garrity, would you like to say anything? <laughs> I'll support and back my husband and all that he said. Thank, thank you. you. Thank and you. I really appreciate um, this wonderful town and all that it has to offer. That's very nice thank of you. you. Thank you. Thank you. So Jonathan is the assistant CEO at Martin Regional, or I'm sorry, to Nova Healthcare Harton. Uh, your name was called as well. Anything that you'd like to say? No, tonight's about the sir. I'm welcoming him. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Appreciate you being here. So our editor, uh, Dwayne Cheryl, is here. I hope you have a subscription pad with you because Colonel Garrity offered to subscribe to the news. So We've already exchanged numbers. Okay. So he's going to follow you out the door in a minute and then he'll get you to sign on the line. So Colonel Garrity, we appreciate your service to our country and uh, we, we appreciate your, the leadership that you'll bring to EDC. We look forward to big things, continue big things from our EDC. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. This is Public Power Week, and we have Public Power Week. Would you like to present this? No, you go right ahead. I mean, you're on, yeah, you should. You're the mayor. I know that. Do it. But there's some, <laughs> but there's some pretty big words in here, and I was just trying to Okay, Mr. Skelton, if you don't mind, step to the podium, and we'll read this and present it to you. So, Mr. Skelton, as everyone knows, or should know, is the president of the Tallahassee Utilities Authority. And um, Chris Barstead is here, also representing TUA as well. And also Wait. Mike Stanton, our new board member. Oh, that's right. And he, uh, he's still here. Alderman Blanks. I know. I, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I, did, I did forget about Mr. Stanton, though. <clears throat> but the food was outside, and I didn't expect him to still be in here. <laughs> so. Whereas we, the citizens of Tullahoma, place high value on local control over community services and therefore have chosen to operate a community-owned, locally-owned, not-for-profit electric utility, and whereas consumers and owners of our electric utility have a direct say in utility <coughs> operations and policies, and whereas TUA provides our homes, businesses, farms, social service, and local government agencies with reliable, efficient, and cost-effective electricity, employing sound business practices designed to ensure the best possible service at non-for-profit rates, and whereas TUA is a valuable community asset that contributes to the well-being of local citizens through energy efficiency, customer service, environmental protection, economic development, and safety awareness. Now, therefore, be it resolved that TUA will continue to work to bring lower cost, safe, reliable electricity and broadband services to community homes and businesses, just as it has since 1947, the year when the utility was created to serve all the citizens of Tullahoma. And be it further resolved that the week of October 6th through 12th be designated the 33rd annual Public Power Week to recognize TUA for its contributions to the community and to educate consumers, owners, policymakers, and employees on the benefits of public power. Be it further resolved the annual public celebration. Am I taking your thunder when I read no. this? <laughs> the public celebration will be held on Tuesday, October 1st, 3 to 5 p.m. at the TUA grounds. Be it further resolved that our community joins hands with more than 2,000 other public power systems in the United States in the celebration of public power, which is best for consumers, business, the community, and the nation. So, Mr. Skelton, you're recognized. 
Thank you, Mayor. Um, our celebration will be on Tuesday, October the 1st. It is from 3 to 5.30, and we'll have uh, displays set up, bucket truck rides, uh, free food. Come out and uh, spend the afternoon, learn more about your local power system. As you said, we're one of 2,000 municipal power systems in the United States. There are 60 in the state of Tennessee. And if you look at the 2,000 nationwide, Tullahoma is a relatively small community, but we would be within the top 150 of those 2,000. So there's lots of really, really small communities. And then you have big communities like Jacksonville, Florida, San Antonio, Texas, Nashville, Memphis. They all have their own municipal power system. But the, the largest uh, in the United States is Los Angeles. Los Angeles has their own municipal power system. But we appreciate our relationship with the city. We appreciate being able to provide services to the people in our community. Yeah. We're, we appreciate you and the work that the men and women at TUA do. Thank we really you. sincerely do. Can I say, change subject for just a second? Certainly. Okay. So I, I heard last week that the Tullahoma uh, Duck River water, Tullahoma water, was recognized and as the very best in Kentucky and Tennessee, I believe, for the third year. Is that correct? <clears throat> They did. They won numerous times. Uh, Dr. Blanks would be able to tell you more specifically how many years in a row, but they won the People's Choice Award, yeah. which is where everyone who attended the Water Professionals Conference could sample waters, wa different waters from different systems, and they won overwhelmingly the yeah. top water award. Yeah. Yeah. Very, very nice. Yeah. Very impressive. Okay, Dr. Blanks and Mr. Stanton, if you would join me with Mr. Skelton. Okay, we're ready for comments from citizens. Anyone in the audience have anything to address the board that's not later on the agenda? Yes, sir. Yeah, neither am I. Yeah. So if, if you would uh, state your name and address for the record, please, sir. My name is Roland Balky. I'm a resident of the city of Tullahoma. Pleased to be so. Yeah. I am a veteran of the United States Army, serving from 1981 to 86. I am a member of the National Rifle Association, the Gun Owners of America. I am a general class ham radio operator and a registered Republican. I'm here to address a thing that happened about three weeks ago, 2,000 miles away. And I'm hoping the city of Tullahoma will help me uh, address it. <coughs> uh, on the 3rd of September of this year, the city and county of San Francisco, California decided in a declaration to declare the National Rifle Association a domestic terrorist organization. As a member, I was alarmed. And I would like to think that my new city, I used to live in Las Vegas, this is my new home here, probably my last one, would help me out by uh, rendering a declaration back at them in reverse to it that the National Rifle Association, in the opinion of this uh, board, is not a domestic terrorist organization. Uh, the NRA has been around for over 140 years. They've done enormous things. I have a press to hear what they've done in part. And I'd like to think as forward as Tullahoma has been in the past, in this small thing, they could be forward again. Thank you. We'll, we'll take your request under advisement. Thank you very much. Sir, I have my press use right here. Okay, good. If you would hand them to Ms. Oh, Mr. Brooks. Yeah. Thank you. Sir. Anyone else in the audience have anything to address the board? 
Seeing none, we will proceed. We're ready for uh, board reports. Mr. Mathis. Do not have a report tonight. We have not had any meetings. Very so. good. Thank you. Mr. Barry. <clears throat> uh, a couple of things. Uh, attended the, since we last met, attended the AOPA fly-in, uh, the cook-in, which was really cool. And uh, that morning worked the tickets. Uh, and that was a great event. Um, I had a town hall last Tuesday at CD Stamps. We discussed uh, the numbers are going up and people that attend. Discussed um, some residents' concerns in a couple different neighborhoods um, and some of their perceived issues with our responsiveness. Uh, we kicked off a Tullahoma 101 series I've been doing with the uh, introduction to our city structure and how we're kind of formed. Um, attendance numbers are growing, so it's encouraging. Next one will be October 1st um, at D.W. Wilson. Uh, spent some time volunteering at Come to the Table. It's a Danley's restaurant every Tuesday from 5 to 6. Uh, it's probably one of the highlights of my week. Um, they serve free hot meals to anybody that wants to come. No questions asked. I think last week there was... They said about 20 children who started lining up about 3.30, um, and they don't open till 5. Um, so they started opening the doors a little, it gets earlier and earlier every week. Uh, volunteers are always needed. Um, uh, Saturday was Tullahoma Beautification Day. Uh, I was out there with the mayor, Ms. Rupa, and several others out there. Um, I also picked up some poison ivy. <laughs> got, into, uh, got into a little Everywhere. Yeah, got into a little thorn bush, picked up some poison ivy, but it was worth it. Uh, that little section of the road is nice and clean now. Um, haven't had a ton of activity on the commissions and boards that I serve on. Uh, Ms. Argraves did provide me with uh, some reading material uh, for our next meeting in October. The Industrial Board, <coughs> Coffee County Industrial Board, they canceled the meeting for this month. Uh, downtown council, they did meet while I was in Austin. Um, the steering committee selected Clark Creative out of Georgia for the branding bid that they had out. Um, and we'll use EC Design out of Tullahoma for the printing when it's possible. Um, and because I haven't had a ton going on with the committees, it's allowed me to spend a lot of time out in the community. Uh, I've continued some knocking on doors to go meet residents uh, and different businesses. Uh, and also to go out and talk to people in person uh, when they call or you put your number out there, they're going to call. Uh, so last week I had about 32, the week since we last met, I've met with 32 different uh, individuals to go out to their business, their residence, and uh, kind of see firsthand the complaints that they have and go out to some of the different properties. Um, so I got a bunch of stuff coming your way. Um, I'll compile that and send it to you. Also want to remind everybody that there's a public interest meeting regarding the construction of the new police station Wednesday at 4 o'clock at Tullahoma High School. It's an opportunity to get engaged and be informed. Very good. I suspect those are, I'm not trying to put words in your mouth and correct me if I'm wrong, but hopefully they're not all complaints. I, I call them concerns. Yeah, concerns. Yeah, observations <laughs> that people yeah. have. Yeah. Very good. Thank you, Ms. Blackwell. Yes. You've been otherwise busy. I've been busy. Since the last meeting. <laughs> um, went to the Planning Commission meeting last week, and you'll see a bunch of things that we're going to go through tonight on that. Um, also, the Board of Education meeting, the special called one, um, which was also, was it just a week ago, um, where they yeah. voted in um, to have, um, I call him Coach Harker, because that's who he was to me back then, as our interim director of schools, um, and also picked up trash for as long as I could for about 45 minutes out there job, to feel like a normal human outside of a screaming a baby for a bit um, um, on Saturday morning with you guys. So, yeah, that's what's been happening good. with me. Very good. Thank you very much. Dr. Blacks. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I was also in attendance of the AOPA client. I think that was a great success. They had good weather. It was warm. It's been warm, it seems like, for the last four or six weeks. Maybe we have the um, change in it was vernal equinox yesterday. I think maybe that will bring usher in some cooler weather, maybe some showers because most of everybody's yards are a little bit dry. Um, this is public power week. We talked about that a little bit. We are plus 19 for the month of August for signups and light tubes. So we're um, 
inching up. I think in the last 18 months, we only had one month that was a net loss. So, um, you know, if you have questions or concerns, you can always call um, TUA and you can talk to somebody that speaks Southern English. So that is important because sometimes, you know, some people can't understand you if they didn't grow up around here which we want people from everywhere, but you want them to be able to understand you. Yeah. Did I dig a hole too bad? <laughs> <laughs> Not too bad. You're going to pretty quick. <laughs> um, other than that, I would continue to encourage people to shop Tullahoma, buy it here if you can, because we need your tax dollars. Um, and that's all I have tonight, Mayor. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Ms. Gunn. I went to the AOPA, AOPA fly-in also, and it was just awesome. It was really cool. So my five-year-old picked out, I think, three different planes that he wanted to buy. Um, we didn't come home with any, but he's, he was excited. Um, and I want to remind everybody that we have a Recycling 101, Composting 101 on Saturday morning at 9.30. And many, many thanks to Andrew Rice, the Rice family. We're going to be at CFC Recycling. So 9.30 CFC Recycling, we'll have some coffee and donuts, and we'll talk recycling and composting. and should be really fun. We'll take a tour of the facility and all that. So, thank you. Thank you. Mr. Nowers. Thank you, Mayor. Uh, Alderman Blackwell touched on our planning commission meeting. We have some issues on the board on the agenda tonight that will our result of that meeting. Uh, I attended the... Uh, airport board meeting last week was immediately after the fly-in uh, that we had the AOPA fly-in which as everyone recognizes being outstanding the director for the fly-in Chris Eads made the statement on Saturday evening as things were being packaged up and going back to Maryland that this was the best place he's ever been for a fly-in it was the best ever of all the places they've been and it was, he thanked all the people of the city. And then, as a token of that, Mayor, if you would step to the flag, I have a, a little appreciation award I'd like to present to you as the chief executive for the city. Uh, but uh, Director Reed was very proud to uh, present this award, appreciation award in recognition of outstanding support and dedication to the city of Tullahoma. Mayor, you this was presented to the city, but right. You are representative of the city, the most distinguished representative we have. Well, so thank you. Those kind, of, those kind of words. <laughs> That's very nice. Very, very nice. And this, I, I do accept this on behalf of all the citizens of Tullahoma, and particularly the the, the, uh, the work that Mrs. Moody, I know the interim police chief, the fire chief, Mr. Brooks, uh, and I suspect a lot more than that were, were involved in, in that. But the, the city government folks really stepped up and did a Really, really good job. In, in that regard, Mayor, uh, Mr. Eads pointed that out, mm -hmm. that this was the most involved community effort that he had ever experienced. And you mentioned all those that were representative of the, the help. So uh, even citizen, even the, uh, commu the uh, industry, uh, Jacobs for one, A plus moving is another, but this number of of com uh, community businesses that pitched in and supported the AOPA fly-in. And the parting words from Mr. Eads was, we will be back. Good to oh, I cool. learned that. That's great. Cool. Cool. Yeah. I should have asked you ahead of time, but do you know approximately how many planes and how many visitors? There are six, over 650 airplanes. But uh, it was much busier than that because many of those airplanes were making multiple multiple trips. We had a, a squadron of swift airplanes that came in on Saturday morning, flying formations. There's 16 of them alone. There's 15 swifts coming in. That was quite a sight. As far as the number of people, it was over 15,000. Wow. 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 That's, cool. That's great. I mean, 
As I moved around the, the community and moved around, it occurred to me, those all of you have been to the Music City Center, I'm sure, and they have conventions every week there. And this was a convention. I mean, it just so happens ours was outside and involved airplanes, but this was a major convention. And I, I was really proud of the community and AOPA, certainly, and the, the city government support. It was just it was just outstanding. Airplanes from as far away as Washington State uh -oh. were there. Wow. So it was a, nation, a national flying, yeah. for sure. Yeah, yeah. Telehoma's on the map for AOPA, you can bet. Yeah, good. I'm, I'm pleased to hear that Mr. Eads had a good... Uh, Good report. Yeah, very good. That's exciting. Well, Matty, anything that you'd like to add? I'm sorry, Mr. Norris, did you have anything else? That's so funny. Okay. Um, there's a football, the homecoming football game is this Friday night at the high school, and I invite you to come. And then also, the Mayor's Youth Council, they're, we're selling hay bales now. They're $75 each. I have a picture of what the hay bales would look like if you guys would like to see. Um, please see me if you would like to buy one. And so, what did these. Uh, fall decorations look like, do you know? They're a square hay bale and they've got a scarecrow, a mum, and then and then some decoration yeah. and a pumpkin. Yeah. It's really beautiful. Yeah, yeah it's a, to me it's a, it's a good opportunity for the community to sort of dress up a little bit for fall. And I know uh, City Hall buys one, I think, and maybe Parks and Rec buys one. Mm -hmm. yeah. Make sure you get some orders before you leave. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, we're ready for the city attorney's report. Please, sir. Legal matters are kind of dull and boring, and I know that. Uh, so I want to add a little levity to this meeting tonight. First of all, I'd like to commend Ms. Blackwell, a, a new mother who attended the first annual Lakewood Lake Circle Drive neighborhood picnic this past Sunday. <laughs> we had about 75 people there and we had a wonderful time. And we're going to do this every year from now on. I encourage everybody in this town to get their neighborhoods together and do this kind of thing. I think it'll make us all more cohesive and I think it's get us all to get to know each other better and enjoy that. So I thank you a lot for coming, Ms. Blackwell. Well, if our neighborhood Second, doesn't have one, can we come to yours? <laughs> you That's may. Fine. We'll put you on the list for next year. <laughs> Just bring your favorite dish, Mayor. <laughs> <laughs> I can do that. Uh, secondly, I suspect that the reason why Tullahoma gets the premier award for the best water is that a little bit of dickle leaks into that <laughs> lake from our distillery because we've been getting it year after year after year, so I hope this continues to happen. Uh, thirdly, you all may know that Motlow College is having a 50th anniversary celebration this weekend. I have been privileged to be a member of the Board of Trustees of the foundation there for over 40 years. It's been an honor to have done that. Uh, I love it. I love that wonderful presence in our community, the employment that it provides for us and the educational opportunities it provides for all of our people. So I encourage all of you all to come out this weekend. There's going to be an antique car show and a reception and a lot of things that I think you really would enjoy. Uh, then I think this week sometime or in the next few days I've asked Ms. Moody to schedule a litigation meeting. We have some dull and boring kind of things we need to talk about. And one piece of good news, I think I may have mentioned before, that we have a property owner in Tullahoma that owns a, a large building in downtown Tullahoma that's willing to donate it to the city. And we're now in negotiations with that property owner for a donation. We're going to do diligence and have it checked out in terms of its uh, <clears throat> uh, usefulness, firstly. Secondly, its condition uh, to determine what kinds of repairs need to be made to it. And hopefully within the next meeting or so, we'll be uh, able to present a resolution to the board if it appears that it's something that we won't accept. Do you have any questions? Seeing none, thank, thank you. you. <clears throat> Mrs. Moody. I want to draw your attention to one item on the consent agenda tonight, and that is um, accepting a donation of office furniture. This is office furniture um, that Dan and Fran Markham and some business partners of theirs acquired. I believe they purchased a building that formerly was a call center and um, have been, had the furniture for some time. And would, I've taken a look at it multiple times and it's cubicles and 
filing cabinets and trash cans and all those kind of office miscellaneous office items some of which I think we could use um, some of it we may not be able to use <coughs> and um, Earlier today, the Markhams reached out and after talking to their business partners asked that rather than simply um, approving the list of items as surplus, which means that we could sell those items if we don't find a use for them within our city departments, they asked that you consider, and I think you would have to include this in your motion, so that's why I'm bringing this up, um, that we consider donating the items to area nonprofits first before we would uh, sell them for surplus and I think that's a fair and reasonable request uh, the other thing is the value so the value sheet that's provided to you on page 53 shows the value for each year of life expectancy that's left and that is the number that I provided but they're actually about seven years old so it should be 30 the value should be 30,000. Okay. Very good. We can do that. Any other? That's all. That's it. all right. We are ready for the uh, consent agenda. So let me. Um, I don't know we need to make it more formal than this, but I'll defer to the wishes of the board. But on item number 19, 127, when the motion is made to approve the consent agenda is presented, if, if the motion can include uh, under 19, 127, to change the value to 30,000, and if there's anything left over to, deno to donate to area nonprofits. Is there an objection to that uh, addition? Everybody okay with that? All right. So we have. Um, Several consent agenda items. 19 124 minutes of the September 9, 2019 regular meeting. 19 and 125, accept the financial report. 19 126, accepts the mayor's reappointment of Ms. Laurel Stone to the Delta Housing Authority for a five year term, expiring October 31st, 2024. Item 19 127, accept the donation of office furniture valued at $30,000 and declare the list of items. I'm sorry, and to Layer to donate to area nonprofits if there's any leftover items. 19128, reappoint Greg Russell, Paige Prescott Lashley, and Melissa Sharan to the Telma Arts Council for three year terms, expiring August 12th, 2022. 19129, accept the resignation of Cindy Sneed from the Telma Arts Council and approve the mayor's recommendation of Lee Fogel for appointment to serve the remainder of the unexpired term in August 12th, 2021. 19130, we appoint Bill Comer to the Town Planning Commission as the um, Urban Growth Boundary Representative for a five year term expiring October 26, 2024. 19131, announce a vacancy on the Town Planning Commission for a new five year term, replacing Scott Gregory beginning on October 27, 2019, and ending on October 26, 2024. 19132, approve an amendment to the agreement between Town Fire Department and Coffee County EMS to eliminate difficulty breathing short of breath from the criteria for which the Fire Department provides automatic response. 19 133, 133 set a public hearing for October 14th on first reading the ordinance number 1529, which is an ordinance to amend the zoning map of the city of Tillamon, Tennessee to rezone three parcels addressed at 611 East Monroe Street from C2 General Commercial to I1 uh, Restricted Manufacturing and Warehousing District and finally, item 19134, approve a sidewalk extension project on Cedar Lane near the intersection with North Jackson Street in the amount of $12,800 with work to be performed under the existing contract with Rogers Group. Is there a motion to approve the consent agenda as presented? Move to approve. Second. Proper motion, Mr. Nowis. Second by Dr. Blanks. All those in favor of the consent agenda as presented, vote green, opposed, vote red. Motion passes 7 to 0. Okay, we have no old business. Miss Moody, anything that you're aware? No. Oh, new old business. New old business. Okay, we've got two items under new business resolution number 1813, a resolution to authorize an agreement with GTL for urban 
a UDAG grant or loan funds in the amount of $200,000 to support their business expansion in Tullahoma. This is an exciting company, folks. I hope all of you have the opportunity. Mr. Glory is with us in the audience, and if, if, if he would consider, I would uh, appreciate him inviting each of you to see what, what amazing things they're doing there. So, uh, so anyway, the floor is open for a motion to approve resolution 1813. So a motion by uh, Mr. Barry, second by Mr. Nois. Mathis. Oh, Mathis. Sorry. Mathis and Nois. Any discussion? How many jobs do we yeah. plan on generating from this? Mr. Gore, let me ask you to step to the podium, <coughs> please, sir. Hi. Uh, thank you for having uh, me here. So what was the question again? How, what's the, the number of jobs that we're planning on adding due to this expansion? So this, this initial effort is going to basically retain our current and help us to grow past a, a, a big milestone. And this is going to allow us to compete for larger contracts and obtain investment funds that could get us uh, growing onto the order of 100 jobs in the next five years, growing to possibly thousands, if we're able to actually accomplish our, our business plan. So you know, we're trying to go and do, uh, do rocket technology and space mining, and it's a really exciting project for us. Mr. Norris. Uh, Mr. Mark, could you elaborate a bit on that? I, I know personally about some of your plans, but I think it would be wonderful if you'd share a little more detail about what you anticipate your company doing in the, within the five-year period. Right. Okay. Um, so for the last decade, we've been in, in Tullahoma doing a research and development effort with UTSI and working with you know, all the major um, uh, defense agencies and NASA as well, developing uh, some really breakthrough technologies on how we can drop the cost to go to space by a uh, factor of 10 compared to what everybody's doing now. And we're at a critical point of taking that technology and demonstrating that so we can actually put that into a system. And so the loan that we're asking for will help us get across that, that threshold and get this technology accepted. We have some major prime contractors who are looking to use our technology in their launch vehicles. And we're also in the process of developing our own launch vehicle to go and deliver payloads to space. And the truly exciting part is that we're actually going to take this and use it to go and do space mining. So we now have the technology to go to uh, the moon and asteroids and mine them and bring back material that will be of, of value here on Earth that we're able to commercially sell and uh, make a profit. And we're looking, expecting to have some rapid growth as a result of that. Um, we're out actually actively looking for investment funds to uh, you know, bring a lot of work here into Tullahoma and the surrounding areas. Thank you. So you're going to go to the moon as your closest area of, of sphere that you're going to mine. It would be, I'd love to know what the cost is of that. <laughs> and to, you know, once you get there and mine it and come back, that has to be very costly. You yeah. have reusable vehicles. Uh, actually, our vehicles are expendable. So what we're actually doing is we brought the cost down so low that it's not really worthwhile um, reusing it. So our vehicle will actually go out in space, and unlike SpaceX where they come back and land, we actually just go out and stay out in space. So there's no parts that are dropped into the ocean or anything like that. Um, the cost is fairly high. You know, we're talking many millions of dollars to actually perform a mission, but our business case shows that we we're able to uh, achieve uh, high profitability in just a few years. So a, a single successful mission, it will actually generate, a, bring back enough material to be profitable and support future missions. Yeah, but I'm, I'm still pegging on that mining stuff. You know, right. it's, it's a very expensive proposition for you to go mine. What do they have? on the moon that we need here, <laughs> heavy metal, rare earth, whatever, there, there, that we don't have access to already. Right, there, there's, a, there's definitely in the long run this material, you know, NASA is very interested in water. You know, our first missions, we have some sorts of things we want to bring back and sell. I can't get into those details here. It's proprietary. Proprietary, but we are going to also be supporting NASA exploration missions. NASA is looking to go back to the moon. Um, we're talking with the University of Tennessee about bringing back some core samples from the South Pole. You know, one of the concerns is what are the, the volatiles, the water or the gases that are frozen in the rocks? Can we bring those back 
and keep them frozen all the way back so they know what's exactly there so they can determine how much water and how much other gases are there that they can actually use for scientific missions and to support human bases on the moon. So. Good luck. I'm just glad yeah. there's smart people around. <laughs> Let me ask you another. This is just an sure. aside. Has SpaceX made a profit yet? Uh, I'm not. Sh I don't think they are. They are heavily, you know, spending lots of money trying to buy their way into the industry. And oh, you know, they're, they're in the industry. Yeah. The challenge is the launch vehicle business is a very challenging business to be in. It's like uh, taxi drivers. You, know, you can make a living as a taxi driver, but at some point Uber comes in and eats your lunch. So we are, are trying to go beyond that to be the end user of the system. So just like the satellite telecommunications companies provide services from satellites and use the launch vehicles to get there, we're looking to use our launch vehicles as a way to go and do things in space and support a larger business venture. Other questions? Thank you. I'm really excited. I'm really excited. It's cool. Yeah. Thank you, Paul, very much for being here. Okay, Let's see, uh, all those in, we have a motion and a second, correct? So all those in favor of the motion as presented, vote green and post vote red. This has been through all the due diligence that uh, Ms. Wilson and Ms. Moody and others require. Motion passes 7 0. Thank you for being with us. Okay, resolution number 1814, a resolution to support a request to members of the legislative delegation to the General Assembly to co-sponsor and support a joint resolution to restore the emergency communication service fee, 911 fee, to the monthly rate of $1.50. So let me get a motion and a second on the floor. I'll make a motion. Mo motion by Mr. Berry, second by Ms. Dillon. Any discussion? All those in favor of the motion as presented, vote green, opposed, vote red. Motion passes 7 to 0. Ms. Moody, any other business? No other business. New business? No new old business? <laughs> All right, so with no, uh, no objection, we will adjourn and go into the beer board portion of the agenda. We have one item, the consent agenda, the minutes of the September 9th, 2019 beer board meeting. So a motion to approve. Motion approved. Second. A motion by Dr. Blank, seconded by Mr. Perry. All those in favor of the consent agenda is presented, vote green, opposed, vote red. Motion passes 7 to 0. I forgot to make an announcement, and I do not have Ms. Blackwell's permission. Um, <laughs> but to the best, I've been, I've been around this building since well, before, 1982, a little bit before. Yeah. I have no knowledge, no recollection of any female ever giving birth while in office in Tullahoma. And I'm proud of her for, for that. And I uh, just wanted to acknowledge that and show my, and here she is at work. <laughs> to, I, have to I have to commend the older lady for her timing. Because it could have happened in the last meeting. <laughs> <laughs> I was ready. I had my Army, Swiss Army knife. <laughs> if I might have one, one other item that I will not be able to attend the following meeting, I will be on an agenda that is an annual event for me that will take me out of town. Okay. Mr. Mayor, one more yes, thing sir. as well. 41A. Yes. That's right. Yeah. yeah. I mean, Highland Rip one, so they probably shoot me if I didn't say something. Are you in the club? <laughs> yes, sir. Okay, good. Yeah, good. 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 So 41A is this weekend, weekend uh, Friday and Saturday. Friday and Saturday night, yeah. A 10th yeah. anniversary, so come out and yeah. where? Mm -hmm. it, down there. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, be able to miss it. <laughs> okay, there are the business. We are adjourned. Have said the farmer's market is still going on, so get you some clothes.